Hey you guys, it's Kristen and welcome back to The Gold Project. In today's video, I will be sharing with you how to create a thumbnail picture using Microsoft Word. I currently do not have Adobe Photoshop, which would be the ideal program for creating a thumbnail picture. So I just wanted to share with you how I get the same job done using Word. The first thing that I do when creating a thumbnail picture is decide on what picture I want to use as my thumbnail. Now for this video, I am going to be doing my thumbnail picture for my teacher appreciation gift idea that I shared with you guys on Monday. So I always take a ton of images when I do pictures for my blog posts and my thumbnail, so I have a lot of images to choose from. So I am going to go through here and take a look at a few of them and decide on which one I would like to use. Once I decide on my image, I like to use iPicky, I-P-I-C-C-Y dot com to do a little bit of photo editing. Now my next how-to video will be all about photo editing so I'm not really going to go into this very much but I just like to open it up on this website to just add a few little tweaks here and there to make sure that it's bright and colorful and will fit well for my thumbnail pic. Now, once I have my image edited and it is exactly how I like it, then I go into a blank document in Microsoft Word. And I like to make the orientation for my document landscape because it just fits better. Now I'm going to go in and open up my image. And now I like to do my thumbnail pictures with a little bubble on the side. So when my viewers look through my videos, they don't have to look at the picture and then wonder what the title is of the video. So what I do is I go in and I add a shape to my picture and I always do a circle and I make sure the fill color is white. And then the outline is usually some color that matches the image. And I like to change the weight to make sure that you can see the outlining color on the bubble. And I will go in to right click the bubble and I will go to format shape and I like to change the transparency. I like to be able to see the picture through the bubble. So I always change that a tad bit. I think in this picture I just made it 20%. So you can just barely see through the bubble. And then I add my text box. And I make sure when I add my text box that I change the wrap text to in front of text. That ensures me that that text box will be in front of my shape. And then I remove the fill. And I remove the outline from the text box. So now all you will see is the text that I insert into the text box. Sometimes creating text in this little bubble is an easy process. The words will fit nicely. Everything is good to go. 
and then sometimes it doesn't fit so nicely and it takes a lot of readjusting readjusting the text readjusting the bubble moving them around so it's just kind of one of those i have to play it by ear and adjust it until it looks right to me And with some of my thumbnail pictures, I will have the title of my video and then I will have some kind of like company name or some kind of additional like subtitle. So I would like to put the subtitle in the bubble as well. So I will separate it using the line shape. Now, when I have my document completely how I want it and my picture looks really good, I will first go in and I will save my document as a regular Word document in case I need to go back in and adjust the picture or adjust the bubble. Next is the tricky part. Next, I will go in and I will save the image as a picture. So what I do for this is I will do a print screen. Then I will paste it in the same document. I will right click the pasted print screen and I will save that image as a picture. And I always make sure to put it in the correct folder that I have created for the video that I have made. Then I will exit out of my Word document without saving it because I have already saved it once prior to putting the print screen image into that document. And the next thing that I will do is I will open up that print screen picture and I will crop it down to just the picture and not all of the extras on the side. And I will just save over the previous picture and that's how I create my thumbnail and it is ready to go and be uploaded onto my YouTube video and that is all you guys for this video I hope you enjoyed seeing me create this thumbnail picture for my teacher appreciation gift video if you like the how-to videos, I hope you give this video a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, I would greatly appreciate it if you would do so. I hope you all have a fantastic week, and until next time, bye you guys.